last time. I think I, think I was. Um, kept the cell, the AC unit outside. It's not. Spinning. It don't do nothing out it's there. Not doing nothing. All right. Let's see here. And I'm all out that door for you. Touch on it. That clip door. Have they mailed you a new filter yet? Yes. All right, we're gonna have to swap that out today. Today, okay. Today. So this thing dirty. Okay. That's, they get dirty quick too. I ain't even gonna lie. Judge, y'all y'all don't smoke no cigars in the house, do y'all? Uh -huh. All right. What's up, puppers? What's up, puppers? Figure out why the condenser isn't working, and oh my god, oh my god, what is wrong there? Looks like somebody tried to already be here. Who done dang? All right, it's in the oven position. Why condenser no worky? It's a split gas. I already went up in the attic just to make sure that the uh, bro, that is just bad. <sighs> I'm gonna let them know about that. I'm trying to fix it. Maybe that's the problem. Let me go ahead and take the panel off. I don't think the screws are on it. Yeah. God dang. For not having screws on, it's on there pretty tight. All right. Took the panel off, and it looks like the contactor is slammed in. I don't think we're gonna have voltage coming all the way through. Let me get my meter out, set up the tripod, see what I can show you guys. All right, so first thing I'm gonna check is across the contactor on the bottom, that gives me zero. So I don't know if you guys could see it when I took the cover off the disconnect, but there are fuses there. So one of those fuses could be blown. Um, they could be both blown. So what I want to do next just to make sure or to give me some further insight on this I want to see if anything's ground any of these legs are grounded on the top side of the contactor to see maybe you know Like if the compressor grounded out or something Nothing on that leg Nothing on that leg now, that lets me know there, we should be fine. Um, so let me check the fuses now. I'm only doing it this way because, I, just for me to hold it. Um, yeah, come on. I'm showing it just for the purpose of the video. I held this one up with my hand that's holding the phone right now and I owned this one out and I got beeps across it for continuity um, so that one was fine but this one was not and I don't know if it shows up well on the video but the whole bottom part this one right here is kind of a yellowish uh, like 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 almost like it like overheated kind of yellow whereas this one still kind of got its goldish bronze kind of look color to it but this is the bad one I'm gonna go ahead and replace both of these splice I'm gonna let them know we're probably gonna end up having to run a whole new wire poke it through the eave bring it down shield in some PVC or some seal tight or something um, I don't think their dogs are messing with it but it's just getting brittle and going getting bad how do you guys like this pad <laughs> it's very tiny pad and then pad on top of pad just look at the condenser coil it's got some bad spots to it side up against the house Turn the flash, see how bad it is. that is caked yeah you're gonna get cleaned my boy or at least rinsed off for sure uh, so for those of you that don't know I uh, 
I work on a lot of rental properties pretty much, whether that be apartments, uh, most of the time it's just single family homes and there are no maintenance contracts. All it is is the only kind of maintenance these systems get are when the coil is pretty much too dirty to work or um, the unit is like the, the, the home itself is vacant. They're cleaning it, you know, fresh coat of paint, all that jazz. And they're like, oh, we want you to just maintenance the unit. And pretty much all they really want us to do is just go through, clean it, make sure it works. So, and, and not works to the T. They want to just make sure that the system is, you know, making good heat. It makes cold air, you know, so cleaning blower wheels, all that jazz, you know, all that stuff is extra that they don't care. If I pull up to a vacant house and even though the blower wheel is slightly dirty, you know, I can notate that to them. But if I say, hey, it's cooling right now, they're just going to say, cool, keep it pushing. So um, I know a lot of people offer that or not really offer that, but they'll, com they'll comment that in the comment section like, hey, you should offer maintenance contracts. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. And those of you guys who have been in this for years and years and years, y'all know they ain't going to do it. Um, shoot, they already complained enough about just simply having to change out a capacitor. But uh, for the most part, especially during this heat wave that we've been having these past couple weeks, uh, just really been cleaning condensers. Um, a lot of people, you know, story every year, setting my thermostat to 72 degrees and it's reaching 78 on 100 degrees outside. Yeah, I just go outside and make sure the condenser's clean, and I'm just like, you're good. You're making Delta T's, you're fine. Mm -hmm. If I keep digging for an issue, I can find one, yeah, but they're not going to care. So, I already just rinsed, I just applied the cool cleaner, didn't use the new bright. I'm using the Refrigeration Technologies Viper Cool Cleaner, and just a light coat because it's not very acidic. Um... I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off now and start the unit back up and see what the pressures are looking like. The unit is back going. Got about a 12 degree split over the condenser. Looking a lot better now. <coughs> oh, snap. I'm going to go ahead and remove all my equipment. Popped another sticker on there. I'm actually having a lot of fun popping these stickers on. I'm not going to lie. Um... I don't know why it makes me feel like makes me feel like I've leveled up. I don't know why. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it for this one. Um, that's my flash on. I don't know why that side got a lot more plug than the rest of it. Um, but I do know that that's very common. Um, I know. I know I've had to tell Jacob quite a few times that, you know, when you see your head pressure just skyrocket sometimes to just double check the condenser coil. Um, that's why I kind of use these little probes to try to gauge the split temperature. Because um, unless it's an R22 unit, anything over 20 degrees on for a 410A, I'm, I'm going to try and clean it first before I deem it an overcharge or something like that. Um, just just to try it just to try it and I probably say seven out of ten times Seven to eight cleaning the coil solves the issue just like it did here today How mad you gonna be if I couldn't get it working? I mean we got an AC unit so yeah, the window units ain't doing it, but I, I got it working It obviously. ain't but you know I was like, what could be the problem? Because we just got it fixed again a few weeks ago. Uh, what was really wrong was just the, the fuses in the wall out there. That's, that's, that was the main issue with it. Um, that's it. I did clean it just because it was dirty. It's nothing that y'all have to really worry about. It, it just happens. Okay. Um, and then fixed up a little bit of wire and stuff that was dangling out there. But you're all good. That's it. Yes, ma'am. You, you want a bottle of water? No, ma'am. I, I got a full cooler. Okay. And I'm trying to get the day over with. All right. Well, thank you. No problem. You have a great weekend. You too.